Guys, some concerning news coming out of the tattoo industry recently. Scientists tested 54 different ink brands, the top ink brands in the US, and 45 of them contained substances that were not listed on the label. These include additives and chemicals known to pose serious health risks. Guys, what is in our inks? Because it's definitely not what they're telling us. Guys, tattoo inks have only recently become regulated and it's gonna be a bit of time before we really know what is actually going on with these inks. This study includes some top brands such as World Famous Tattoo Ink, Fusion Ink, and Solid Ink. Guys, the results are gonna shock you. Uh, also got Dynamic, uh, everybody's favorite Dynamic Black included in this study, guys. So let's have a look and see which of these inks are safe and which ones you wanna stay away from. Guys, tattooing is an ancient art which people have been practicing for millennia and most of those inks used back then are natural, made from ashes and uh, other kinds of methods. But today's inks are factory made and uh, there's a lot of uh, profiteering involved. 30% of adults in the UK and the USA have tattoos, which is quite a high percentage. And most of these people don't know that their inks contain extremely hazardous chemicals. This is just one study that I wanna share with you. This is Kelly Moseman, a chemistry researcher in Bingham University, New York, uh, and colleagues analyzed more than 50 tattoo inks from nine different brands used in previous studies contain substances that weren't listed on the label. Testing inks made by global companies and smaller producers, the researchers found that 45 out of the 54 inks they ran through chemical analyses contained substances that weren't on the label. So guys, these are things like unlisted pigments and additives. 36 listed glycerol, but it was only detected in 29 of the inks. So guys, uh, they're just making it up as they go along while other tested samples contain potentially harmful or simply strange substances. Guys, what the fuck? Guys, only one brand's label accurately listed the ingredients that were on the label. I'll tell you what that brand is in a sec. It's not yet known if these are accidental contaminations of tattoo inks, errors in labeling or intentional but undisclosed additions that would require further investigation. Guys, I'm gonna put a chart up here. We're gonna see the inks that were tested. And uh, as you can see here, um dynamic ink so glad i use dynamic ink guys it's not an advert but it might as well be the only brand that listed the correct ingredients on the label which is isopropyl alcohol distilled water and um some numbers which i'm guessing is a pigment so guys dynamic ink guys some of the inks that i use my colors yeah like world famous tattoo ink these inks are great or oh, i thought they were great but that can f*** right off. I ain't using that on my clients. I'm using Dynamic Ink, um, and that's the way it's gonna be. 90% detected metal impurities, concentrations exceeding regulated limits, fucking heavy metals in the, um, in the inks, guys. F*** that. Tattoo inks, especially red hues, can cause allergic reactions. Everyone knows that, um, such as itching, blisters, um, months or even years after the ink was injected. If ingredients aren't listed on the product labels, it makes it difficult to figure out what may have caused the reaction and preventing it from happening again. So guys, you wanna stay away from some of these ink brands. Guys, Mosman's and colleagues looked at both pigments in tattoo inks and substances used to suspend the pigments in solution. The team used multiple an analytical techniques to confirm the presence of unlisted substances. Raman and XRF spectroscopy guys, I don't know how to read half of these words, allowed the researchers to identify the pigments in each ink while NMR spectroscopy, spectroscopy and mass spectrometry were used to find out what was in the carrier solution. So guys, detection limits of the NMR meant that researchers focused only on substances present in the carrier solution. All right, who cares? Anyways, what's in the inks, guys? What is in the inks? This one's even more worrying. So guys, 83% of tattoo inks contain hidden ingredients linked to cancer and organ damage. Americans are unwittingly exposing themselves to tattoo inks that contain organ damaging chemicals. Disturbing new research has revealed. Now guys, one thing you'll notice is that I'm, I'm English, right? And I live in London, but all of the inks are made in the USA. All the inks that I use are made in the USA and these are not CE marked. So we're using the same stuff as the americans so this is the same shit so guys guys i don't know what's going on but 
you tell me what you think. Now, um, I put the chart up as you can see. So Dynamic Ink is uh, completely safe and great to use so uh, thank god that i switched to this brand i used to use silverback ink i don't know if they were in the study um they're probably fine to be honest silverback ink i always thought that they were pretty i mean how are you supposed to tell just from looking at it you know what i mean i'm not a fucking spectrum spectrometry but guys um let me know what you think about this let me know if you're going to continue using some of these brands like fusion this was in there solid ink this is in there world famous i've got so much world famous ink and I thought it was great, but I don't know. I feel bad using it on my clients now. So tell me what you think. But guys, uh, concerning news, we know that the tech industry is fucked. We know that uh, people aren't going to like these kinds of studies coming out because, um, I mean, I've got people coming after me because of the things that I say in my videos, the things, uh, some of the some of the clips that I use and things like that. Let me know what you think, and uh, I will catch you next time in Tattoo News. So uh, see you out there.